Good morning. Welcome to our midweek devotional again this week coming from All God's Creatures produced by Guideposts. Our author for today is Erin Lynham and the scripture she has chosen is Matthew 24 verse 32. From the fig tree learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts out leaves you know that summer is near. The title of her devotion today is Beauty is in the Eye of the Believer. And she writes, Let's go find a mountain goat. It was my husband's only request for his birthday. Packing our four children into the SUV, we made the three-hour drive to Quandary Peak in Colorado's White River National Forest. Here we've happened upon the hard-to-find goats several times before. When you run into these creatures, their backdrop is most likely an alpine lake or snow-coated summit. Thankfully, my husband got his birthday wish when we rounded the corner into the final parking lot to discover a large male mountain goat napping on the rocks 30 feet away from us. But he didn't look like the ones we'd seen before. Instead of shining in magnificent glossy fur, he was in the final stages of shedding his winter coat. As he sleepily sauntered down the rocky hillside, ropes of gnarled wool dragged behind him, snagging and leaving evidence of his presence, white tufts hanging like tinsel off the mountain mahogany. Most bystanders would not think much of him. They may even wonder if something was wrong with the animal. But in this case, Beauty was in the eye of the believer. Those of us who have seen these goats in all their splendor know the shedding process is quite necessary. It's much like when my life is in transition and perhaps I'm not at my loveliest. My heart may be discouraged and my reactions uncalculated and I may be struggling to trust God for the future. But the believer holds to the history of God's faithfulness in past seasons while trusting him for what's to come. Like the goat waiting expectantly for its sleek summer coat, I can trust God for what he holds in my future. He is a God who orchestrates beautiful things out of messy transitions. In his unlimited knowledge and power, he is sovereign over what is to come. And she closes with another verse from Psalm 1, verse 3. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you'll join me again next week. And also join us for our Palm Sunday service this Sunday at 11, either in person or on our YouTube channel. Have a great week.